Globalization helped bring about the global savings imbalances. It had large effects on income distribution. Uh, it's driven in, in crucial ways the behavior of companies and where they invest. So I would say the single biggest shift is the move to a global economy, which includes the, for the first time, these gigantic uh, emerging economies with their huge labor supplies above all China in this period. So I think that's probably the biggest of all the shifts. It could easily happen again. In fact, it's probably certain to happen again. Um, and I think the answer is that events of this kind are in some profound sense unforecastable. Then they're only probabilistic at most. You can never be sure that it's going to end up in this way. And indeed, if you play uh, back, think back to what happened, it's easy to imagine ways of dealing with the crisis which hadn't ended up so catastrophic. Furthermore, if they were easy to forecast, it's pretty obvious that people would act in such a way as to prevent them because they would be surprised. So my criticism is really my last point, is not that they, people failed to forecast them, nor my criticism of myself that I failed to forecast it. Very, very few people did. I think the problem was rather that most economists thought such a crisis was inconceivable, which is a much deeper intellectual problem than failing to forecast it.